Oxano Ministry Slideshows presents Christian Law. Should Christians be struggling to keep the law of Moses, or should they be following Christian law? The Bible says in Galatians 3, 10 through 11, all who rely on observing the laws are under a curse. Clearly, no one is justified before God by the law because the righteous will live by faith. The Apostle Paul is teaching here that if you attempt to obey the law of Moses, you will be under a curse. You will not be justified before God. Justification is received only through faith in Jesus Christ. Some of the believers of the party of Pharisees stood up and said that Gentiles must be circumcised and required to obey the law of Moses, meaning that all believers are required to obey the law of Moses. Then Peter stood up and said, Now then, why do you try to test God by putting on the necks of the disciples a yoke that neither we nor our fathers could bear? No. We believe it is through the grace of our Lord Jesus that we are saved, just as they are in Acts 15, 5 through 10. The Apostle Paul taught, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. From this, we must conclude that the law of Moses is a yoke of bondage. Before faith came, we were prisoners, having been shut up to the faith about to be revealed, so that the law has become a schoolmaster, a trainer of us until Christ, so that we might be justified by faith. The first tabernacle was an illustration indicating that the gifts and sacrifices being offered were not able to clear the conscience of the worshiper in Hebrews 9.9. 9. They were only a matter of food, drink, and various ceremonial washing and external regulations applying until the time of the new order. Christ had become a high priest of the good things to come by a greater and more perfect tabernacle not made with hands, that is to say, not of this building, nor by the blood of bulls and calves, but by his own blood he entered once for all into the holies having obtained eternal redemption for us. That act ended the Mosaic Law for Christians forever. To summarize, Mosaic Law to the Christian is a yoke of bondage, a prison, an imposition, worth of ceremony, and capable of cleansing the conscience cannot justify the individual observer. It is dead works and doesn't please God. It is not a requirement for the born-again believer. We are not to be judged as sinners by that standard. If you insist on Mosaic Law, then you are testing God. Let's go to the Christian Law Department. But Law of the Spirit of Life in Christ has made me free from the law of sin and death, Romans 8, 2. And we are no longer under a schoolmaster. God has established a mark for us to aim for, not to please him or be justified, but so we can earn rewards. The mark is... Love your God and your neighbor. If we hit that mark, we will be obedient to the law of God. This is not the mark. This is the mark. Then one of them, a lawyer, asked, tempting him and saying, Master, which was the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Matthew 22, 
through 40. All the law and all the prophets or teaching of the Bible hang on those two commands. If you're practicing the law of Moses, if you're teaching others to do the same, then you are not putting yourself or them to a test, you're testing God. You're placing yourself and them in a yoke of bondage. God said, break every yoke and set the oppressed free. Let your obedience start here. Break that yoke and stop now. Watch the Love, Sin, and Reward movies for more information. And thank you for watching.